Hello, everyone. Um, you all know ChatGPT, DALI, Yama2. Um, I'm here to talk about the next revolution of embodied AI, which is uh, the next revolution in automation, which is embodied AI. Um, foundation models have been the foundation for the rapid acceleration of AI the last uh, decade. Um, they wouldn't be foundation models if they weren't open source. So the reason why they became foundation models in the first place was because the open source community could discuss um, the data and the model. We saw it with computer vision. So whenever there was some company who claimed we beat the benchmark in computer vision, within a very short time there would be a computer vision model open source that beat that benchmark. And so we, we've seen that happen over and over with natural language processing. And we're starting to see that with generative AI right now, where foundational models are being open sourced, uh, and the data is being open sourced so everyone can discuss, discuss it. So we know generative AI, AI has uh, shortcomings. All foundation models have had shortcomings. Um, the reason why we solve them is because the the problems are out in the open. So the community, the community can discuss the, the, the issues with the model or the data. Now, we've seen foundation models take over computer vision, natural language processing, and, and generative AI. The next natural frontier for foundation models is going to be embodied AI. So we're moving from safe AI in browsers and iPhone. Everyone is talking about the, the AI alignment problem. The next thing we're going to experience is that this AI has to coexist with us in public uh, spaces and operate in a safety-critical safety environment. We're going to see this. Um, we're going to see embodied AI in everything from our household robotics to aviation to drones to mining equipment, construction equipment, and most notably what most people know it for is for self-driving cars, buses, trucks, forklifts, and so on. Now, right now, most embodied AI is done by big corporates. Uh, it's closed source, it's proprietary data, which is OK. Uh, it's, they spend a lot of money invested in this. But it's going to coexist in public spaces with us. And right now, it's really difficult for everyone to actually understand what shortcomings they have. Um, we believe the next natural um, step is that we need the same level of transparency in, in, within embodied AI that, we also, that we've seen within all other foundation models. So some examples on this is uh, Mercedes got their level three system certified for 10% of German highways up to 60 kilometers an hour. Cruise just lost their robo taxi license in San Francisco. So why didn't they get certified for more? In what scenarios do they fail? Why do they fail? Like all of this, 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 this course is not happening within embodied AI right now because it's simply not possible. We don't know what scenarios they fail in and why they fail it. So Yak is taking some cues from the uh, open source community. Uh, we see Hogging Face, Mistral, and Meta um, proposing to use data cards and model cards to address the pitfalls of these models. It's a toolkit for transparency. Who trained the model? With what data? When did they train it? What issues does it have? It allows the community to uh, propel and, for and, and bring the AI models forward. So Yak is taking the next, le the next logical next step, which is we propose scenario cards for embodied AI. Scenario cards will allow the community to advance um, embodied AI and accelerate the development, but in a, safe, in a safe way where we can actually discuss the shortcomings of the data or the model that's being applied right now. Um, so the challenge with this is that not all data is equal. So we already know right now from generative AI that you need expert data to actually train your model, and you need a feedback loop. So how do we put this in the hands of the many instead of the few? Yak has built a expert platform uh, that allows us to actually source drive data in across 30 cities in Germany right now. We collect roughly 50 terabyte of curated drive data every day right now through eight cameras on driving instructor vehicles. The driving instructors give feedback on driving mistakes, 
that the students are making, which allows us to extract the scenarios and make those available uh, to, uh, to all uh, developers of safety-critical embodied AI. So the driving instructors don't only extract uh, driving mistakes, so counterfactuals, they also actually demonstrate uh, to demonstrate how an expert would have been driving in this city. So now we kind of curate, we, we generate the best curated drive data in the world, how to drive in a city and how not to drive in a city. So one thing is to have the best curated drive data, which will allow us to actually uh, align, solve the alignment issue for embodied AI. The other issue is how do we then actually discuss how your AI is performing. And so to enable that, Yak is proposing that we start generating open metrics. So the same way that we have open data cards and we have model cards, we're proposing open metrics that allows us to actually uh, assess in a unified way across the scenarios. So uh, embodied AI, in order to, we think actually in order to reach the finish line, is that we actually start building a community around it that helps, even, that, that helps us get safe, autonomous vehicles, aircrafts, forklifts to the, to the masses, would be by agreeing on, um, on scenario cards, agreeing on the metrics that we need to hold them to, the standards we need to hold them to, and by agreeing on the data quality that we actually need to collect uh, to enable this. So at this point, uh, YAC has been going for three and a half years right now, and uh, we built an expert platform that allows us to scale across the world. So we have a backlist of driving schools who want to work with us. So the 55 cars we have driving around with our sensor kit in Germany right now is just the beginning. It's 50 terabytes a day, and it's growing rapidly right now. What's important with this is that we want to make it available to the many. Um, so how do we make it possible for anyone to develop safe embodied AI? Um, we do that through our expert platform, and what we're working on right now is the tool chain that allows any third party to actually access the data, access the scenarios, ingest it in, into their own environment, work with it, and, and assess their own, um, their own drive models, for instance. Um, so what we have also developed is a safety GPT. It allows you as an embodied AI developer to rapidly assess uh, the challenges with your AI. Uh, so this is a model that's never been told what a car is, what a stop sign is, what a yield sign is. It's never been on this road segment before, but still it would be able to look at what your autonomous car is doing or your autonomous forklift, and it would be able to tell you whether it's safe or not safe. So by doing this, we allow, like, we help you understand the shortcomings of your embodied AI so you can accelerate your development. That was it.